Hi everyone, happy Thursday. So here's the materials that we need. You have your paper and at the top you're gonna write Thursday, your name, and then the date for slash 16 slash 20. Then you're writing number one, number two, a line in the middle. And then on the back, you're doing three and four with the line in the middle. And then on the last page, you're writing exit ticket. All right, let's go on to number one. So this problem today is actually your exit ticket from yesterday. I noticed that um, a lot of students were getting the answer wrong, so I wanted to do a little bit of a review, okay? So again, number one is the exit ticket from yesterday. So you're gonna draw a box. You're writing more with the line, less with the line, and then you're writing answer with the blank line. Okay. So it says Lizzie is 58 years old. She is 37 years older than her brother. How old is her brother? Label more and less. So the one thing that I notice is that sometimes I see that we're not labeling more and less and this is really, really important. Now, let's do this part. Lizzie is 58 years old. She is 37 years older. So if she's older, she has more years than her brother. So Lizzie's gonna have more. And if she has more, then we know that her brother has less. Now we need to see what the question's asking. How old is her brother? Whenever the question is asking about someone, you circle that person. So they're asking about the brother. Because he has less, this gives us a clue that we're going to subtract. If we circled Lizzie, then we know that we would add because she has more. So more is when we're gonna add the two numbers and less is when we subtract the two numbers. That's something that you really need to remember. So since we know that we're going to subtract, write a number sentence that you would use with these two numbers when you're subtracting. Okay, so you should have written 58 minus 37 equals question mark. Now label your total and your parts. Okay, so your total was before the minus sign. All right, so we are missing our part. Okay, there's two ways that you can solve this problem. You can start with your part and then add and stop when you get to your total, or you can start with your total and subtract. So either one of those strategies will work. You can choose a strategy now. Okay, I'm going to start with my part. Okay, 
and I'm going to add and stop when I get to my total. So I'm not putting five tens and eight ones because then I would add my total and my parts. I don't want to do that. So I don't know how many tens and ones I'm putting, so I'm going to go slowly until I get to 58. So I'm going to put one ten stick. And if I add a 10 to this number, I'm going to get 37, then it's 47. I'm not at 58 yet. If I put another 10 stick, I would get to 57, and that's not past my total, so that can work. I'm going to put 57. Now I need to draw ones. All I need is one more, and then 57, 58. Okay, I stopped there. Now what I do is I count what I just drew because this is my missing part. So I'm going to count it up. 10, 20, 21 was my missing part. Okay. So now I'm going to draw a um, number sentence to match my work. Remember, it has to match exactly what you did. The first number I drew was 37. Then I added 21 to get to 58, my total. So plus 21 equals 58. 21 was my missing part. And then that's my part and that's my total. Okay, now you can answer this in a complete sentence. How old is her brother? So her brother is 21 years old. And make sure when you start the beginning of a sentence, you're starting with a capital letter, not only in math, but in all the other subjects. Okay, so let's go on to question number two. So we're not doing review anymore. All these other questions are going to be new ones. So at the top, you're going to write count up by ones. Again, you're writing count up by ones. Then for this first one, you're writing 198. Four blank lines. And then 203. The next one you're writing 603, four blank lines, and then 608. For the next one you're gonna write 497, four blank lines, 502. Okay, so it says count up by ones. We know that our ones are going to change and eventually our hundreds might change if we get to 99. Okay, so you can do this first one on your own. All right, so 198, 199, now we're at 99, our hundreds are going to change, it's gonna go up, 200. Remember only our ones are changing now. 201, 202, and then 203. Okay, you can do this next one.
All right, 603, the ones are changing. 604, 605, 606, 607, 608. Now we're on this last one. You can do that now. Okay, so we're really close to that next hundred. We're at 97 here in the tens and the ones. So 497, 498, 499, 500, 501, 502. All right, everyone, time for that dance break. Okay, so we're moving on to question number three. At the top, you're going to write count up by tens until the switch. So again, you're writing count up by tens until the switch. Then you're going to draw a big rectangle and then in the middle you're drawing a line and then up and down you're doing four lines, one, two, three, four. And then in the first box you're writing 80 and then in the fourth box at the top you're writing switch to fives and then below on the third box you're writing switch to ones. I would pause this video now so you can have time to draw this out. Okay. So it says count up by tens until the switch. So we've already done this two times, so I'm actually going to have you go and then stop when you get to the switch for the fives. I'm just going to have you go right away. Alright, so 80. 90, 100. Okay, so now we're switching and we're counting by fives and you stop here. All right, so 105. 110, 115, 120. And you can see if you're looking here, that pattern, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, now it's a switch to one, so now only the ones place is going to change. You can do that now.
Okay, so 120, 121, 122, 123. Okay, let's go on to question number four, the last question. At the top, you're only writing 651 plus 73. Then you're drawing your HTO chart and answer with the blank line below. Okay, it says find the sum of 651 plus 73. Use the HTO chart to help you solve. First thing we're doing is labeling HTO and then TO. So we're going to box this number because this is the number we're going to draw first. All the labeling we're going to save for the end. So I want you to draw your hundreds, tens, and ones on your HTO chart. Okay, I'm going to draw it out. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, then five tens, one, two, three, four, five, and then only one for the ones place, so one circle. Okay, so we're done with this number. Now we're going to do 73, so seven tens and three ones. You can draw that out now. Okay, so I'm going to go on the bottom here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then three ones. One, two, three. Now what you're going to do is you're going to regroup. You can't regroup your ones, so you're going to regroup your tens into a hundred. All right, so because I like to put it in rows of five, I already know I have five tens here and five tens here, and that's 10 tens. I'm gonna draw this arrow and make another 100 over here, because 10 tens equals 100. I'm gonna cross that out, and I still have two tens left over. Okay, now you can label everything and then write your answer below. Okay, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 
700. Remember, now we're gonna count by 10. So 710, 720, and we're, we have four ones, one, two, three, four. We're just gonna squeeze in those four ones and put it in the ones place here. So 724. Okay, let's go on to our exit ticket. You're gonna go on this page and right now on the screen, I'm gonna show the exit ticket for today. Make sure that you remember, if you are focusing on someone that has more, you're going to add your numbers. And if you're focusing on someone who has less, you're going to subtract your numbers. You can pause the video now if you need extra time to write it down. All right, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.